Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, how are y'all? It's Thursday. God, I can't believe it's Thursday already. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to hop in here to talk about today's bubble, which is Aroma Touch and Marjoram. Now, I didn't pop on yesterday um, because it was my birthday, and thanks very much for all the lovely messages. Um, I will, but I will do a video on um, balance and peace just for those of you who took part in that bubble um, to talk a little bit about how you can use it because those are divine. Um, so this bubble is actually really interesting to see. It's basically buy one Aroma Touch and you'll get a free margarine, okay? So these oils are awesome for things like any kind of muscle tension. Um, they really are gonna help relax and just calm things down and, and soothe your muscles and your body, but They've got their own little properties going on as well. So first of all, Aromatage is known as the massage blend. Now, we have um, a technique in doTERRA called the Aromatage. I'm trained in it. So if anybody ever wants to try one, just give me give me a shout and I will, um, I'll do an Aromatage on you. Um, but it's, which is an essential oil application. But part, and it's, it's eight different oils that are used, one of those being the Aroma Touch Massage Blend. Now the Aroma Touch Massage Blend on its own is gorgeous for any kind of therapist or any anyone that wants to do a, a body massage. Um, you would just dilute it down in some carrier oil just so that it'll go further specifically for a body massage. And what you've got in Aroma Touch, you've got basil, which is really great at kind of clearing the mind <clears throat> and any brain fog or anything like that. It's good for concentration. You've also got grapefruit, which is like, oh, grapefruit is just, is amazing. It's like a, a sort of, it, what it instills is a joyful appreciation of life. And then you've also got cypress, which is actually, cypress is a very, very good oil for any grief or any, um, yeah, basically any grieving thoughts you're holding on to that might be weighing you down in your heart space that can constrict you. You've also got marjoram in this blend as well. So I'm going to talk about marjoram in a little bit more detail in a minute. Um, also in this, you've got lavender, which obviously really helps re us relax and, um, and sedate, soothe the nervous system. But then you've also got peppermint in this. So the lovely thing with Aroma Touch is it's like this combination of really beautiful, relaxing oils, very comforting oils, and then the basil and the peppermint in there kind of freshen it up a little bit. Um, and what they do, I, I almost feel like it helps relax you, but it also energizes you a little bit. I love diffusing this one. Um, oh God, so it's really clearing as well because you've got those basil and peppermint oils in there. It's really clearing for the head, very soothing. Brilliant oil if you're like me on the computer a lot um, and kind of hunched up and things. It's a fantastic oil to give yourself a little kind of neck and shoulder massage um, and just really help any tension. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but my cat is going nuts. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so it's a very, very good one at just clearing that mind um, and soothing any kind of muscle tension build up that you might get um, in the, particularly in the neck and shoulders, but great for all over body. So also if you are like um, sore after exercise or anything like that, I don't know if you remember from the other day, we had the deep blue. Now deep blue is like a really intense kind of like um, muscular rub oil sort of thing. Aroma Touch, I feel it's slightly more feminine um, although actually I know I know many guys that love this as well, but it's it's slightly more feminine because you've got your um your lavender and your grapefruit in there as well. But it's just really invig it's it's like invigorating, but it just soothes everything down as well. And it's lovely, the smell is gorgeous. So what Aroma Touch is great for, it's really good, as we we're saying, for kind of muscles and, and any tension that you're holding onto in the body, but it's also great for any anxiety. So that's what I like to diffuse it for because it just helps calm things down, but it also picks me up, um, which is because I sometimes what I suffer from can be kind of lower moods, but also a little bit of lack of motivation um, and a little, my energy levels can be quite low. So Aroma Touch is really good at just kind of pepping me back up again. So it's going to relax, calm, relieve any tension in muscles. Um, what it will also do is soothe any irritated tissue, but also improve circulation. So it's a great oil for kind of like getting things going again. So, so in my lack of motivation thing, um, it's lovely for just really kind of getting everything up and running again. It's also very good at anti-inflammatory. So on any kind of soft tissue, um, 
massage, it will really enhance the effects of, of that. So it will just help with, um, with decreasing inflammation. So ways that you can use it, um, you can use it topically on your muscles. You can actually apply it directly, as I've just done to my neck actually, it feels lovely because it's got that sort of tingly like cooling feeling as well from peppermint. Um, you can apply it directly or if you're doing like an all over body massage or massaging a particular part of the, of the body, then I would pop it in a carry roll just because it's more economical, your oil goes further um, and it will be a more kind of, um, the, the properties of the oil will release over time. So you can also pop this oil over your heart as well. So I, a lovely place for me to, to I use a lot of my oils over my heart chakra um, and just rubbing it in that space. Because obviously you're, you're going to start, you're going to be smelling it from there, but it will also get into your system. Um, you can add it to your bath water as well. Now, a little tip, whenever you're adding any essential oils to your bath water, either stir them into some Epsom salts, and this would be a gorgeous one for an Epsom salt bath because you're going to really soothe your muscles with that. Um, just a little, just like five to ten minutes before putting them in the bath, or you can make them up and, and store them in a jar. Or you can just pop a couple of drops, um, actually with a bath I'd probably say like four to five drops, and put it in a tablespoon of milk because the fats in the milk help the oil to disperse in the water because oil and water don't actually mix. So, um, so rather than it just sitting on top of the bath water, it will mix through if you stir it up in milk as well. So emotionally, Aromatouch is known as the oil of relaxation. Obviously it's a massage blade, it's very relaxing on your tissues, your muscles. Um, but at an emotional level, what it actually supports us to do, and this is where it comes into the heart chakra space, it helps us with any stiffness of heart that we might be experiencing, because remember you've got your cypress in there, which is gonna really help with your grieving process. Um, so anything that perhaps has made you closed in this area of the world, um, the, the Aroma Touch Blend is going to help you open up to that, okay? So it's um, it's going to open your heart and your mind to kind of flexibility as well and be a bit more adaptable to situations. It's very, very good at comforting in times of any grief or any, any like, deep sorrow that you might be experiencing. <clears throat> I have found this very, very helpful, actually, with the grieving process as well. Um, it's, a, it's a gorgeous oil. So because it eases, it eases tension and allows the circulation to flow, it actually allows a life force energy to flow as well. So it's very, very good at kind of clearing any blockages and just helping things flow more smoothly. So you know when we talk about being in the flow, you know what it feels like when you're not in the flow and you're kind of coming up against blocks and you're not entirely sure why. Aroma Touch will really, really help with that kind of that kind of feeling and just help get things back into the flow of life. So what it's going to do is help you go from kind of tense or stressed or rigid into more of a situation of openness, relaxation, more balanced, comforted, and kind of moving in harmony. Okay, so gorgeous oil, really, really recommend Aroma Touch. And marjoram is one that I actually don't know that well, and it's so weird because I, when I had my lovely massage from Carol, thanks Carol, um, yesterday, we started chatting about marjoram and it kind of came up for us. And, and this is really interesting um, because she was telling me how fantastic it is for, for any muscle tension, that kind of thing. Um, and then it popped up in today's bubble. <clears throat> So marjoram is an antibacterial oil, it's anti-infection, um, it's anti antiseptic as well. It's a very good digestive stimulant. It's also a sedative and a tonic to the body, okay? So what this is gonna do, it's very good at a physical level for any kind of fluid retention you might have, muscle spasms or cramps as well, it's gonna be good for that sort of thing. Any rheumatism, um, sprains, stiff joints, marjoram is gonna like pack a little punch straight on those things. It's also very good if you've got any kind of respiratory congestion as well, it'll, it'll help, to, ugh, help to disperse that um, and break that down. And also it's very good for um, supporting any obstructions in the liver and the spleen. But at a, so at, so at a physical level, um, sorry, I just keep laughing at my cat, she's going nuts. Uh, maybe she doesn't like marjoram, I need to check that out. Um, you've got, it's very good for any anxiety again, so your aroma touch blend and your marjoram are very, very good <clears throat> at anxi with anxiety. But this is also very good for balancing any kind of menstrual problems that you might be having. It's also good for things like shingles. Um, also good for shock, you can rub on bone spurs and it'll support them as well. So any pain relief um, for, for bone spurs or that sort of thing. So what it's going to do is it's going to provide a relaxing and calming effect to your muscles. 
um, that any muscles that kind of constrict and, and can contribute to headaches as well. So you know that it appears in Aroma Touch. One of the things that it does really well is, um, again, if you want to rub it on your back and, and neck and shoulders, um, if you're the type of person that because you get tension in this area, it leads to headaches, marjoram is going to really help you with that. So it releases, um, it releases tension. Now, on an emotional level, it's known as oil of connection. And what it helps us do is release from kind of persistent, like obsessive negative thoughts that we might get stuck in a pattern of and, you know, or any kind of mental anguish. So I know particularly, um, and I wish I'd known about this actually when I had postnatal depression, um, I would go round and round in circles and it was really, it was like a mental anguish um, cycle that I got myself in. So marjoram is actually very, very good at supporting us um, if we're in that state of mind. So known as oil of connection, it is great if, for example, you've got an inability to trust or um, create meaningful relationships. So perhaps some deep trauma um, or you know a, a very difficult situation has happened in your past. And what that has actually started doing is that almost unconsciously, unintentionally, you put up blocks to meaningful social connections. Um, or you close your, you know, maybe part of yourself away. I know for me, because I'm actually a very social person, but I closed a big part of myself away after my dad died. And it was a protection. It was an absolute protection mechanism. So marjoram is going to be a fantastic oil for that sort of thing and really working on that. And I find it so interesting that this has come up actually for me yesterday with Carol. Um, and then it's, it's popped in today because it's like I'm being, I honestly think the universe is pointing me in this direction because um, I'm still peeling away and kind of putting down the blocks um, from the barriers that I built up very much around my heart space because it was so hard um, losing my dad um, to suicide. You know, it was it was just such a, a deep, deep trauma that I couldn't take the the um, everything that went along with it. So I really feel my body put up this protection, and then it's almost like you kind of self sabotage a little bit because you don't trust as easily. Um, you know, generally I'm quite an open person, but there was a big part of me that was just closed off. So marjoram is going to be very, very good for that sort of thing. Just keep checking my notes so that I've covered everything. Um, yeah, it's basically good for any unintentional protective coping strategies that you might have put up. Um, and it increases warmth and trust in social situations so that it enables you to really be able to create those meaningful relationships which make up our life you know i'm a great believer that it is the connections those moments of connection that we have that give our life vibrancy and joy and meaning you know so marjoram is really going to help with that so what it does is it really softens the heart space and it, and it goes on to heal past wounds as well and it will take you from kind of distrusting aloof um overly protected and what it will take you into is kind of more open connected loving relationships and opening that heart space as well so beautiful oil to use i would diffuse this or you could um, dilute a couple of drops down you can use it neat on your body but i would maybe dilute it down and just and, and rub it on your you know over your heart chakra and things if that's something that you're dealing with but particularly if you're using it on a physical level for any kind of um, muscular pain or anything like that you can just use it and rub it into the area particularly with bone spurs or any rheumatism or anything you could just put it directly. So that is the lovely combo, very, very soothing combo today at both a physical and emotional level. So you've got your Aroma Touch. So if you want to buy this um, and you've got your own account, you just stick in the Aroma Touch and then when you process your order, the marjoram will, will pop up. Okay, so any questions, just give me a shout um, and I will speak to you later. Okay, so much love everyone. Bye, bye-bye.